Faith is unseen. What do I mean by that? Well, we are a material, right? Flesh and bones, right? But we can be controlled through and by emotion. Emotion is not seen. It's not a physical thing I can grab. But when I pray to God, when I pray to Jesus, he gives me that emotion of peace, love, joy, right? He fills me with a good a good feeling that forces me to be a better person. So my question to you, uh, if you're an atheist or you have a different religion, what are you filling yourself up with? Are you going to that workout on an empty stomach? Or are you going to that workout strong and in your best uh, possible position to succeed and to gain, right? So when I feel these emotions, and this is just a breakdown, you can't see emotions, but we can all agree there is emotion of happiness, joy, sadness, all these other things, right? If you take God and put God at the center of that, God fills you with everything that you need to be your best self. If you are filling yourself with distractions and other things that are ungodly or of this world, what are you filling yourself up with? Probably hate, pride, envy, a couple things like that. If you're an atheist or if you believe in the Big Bang, you have to have belief that that is a real thing. You have to have belief that these materials came from nowhere, rock, gas, and all these things, and boom, the earth is created, right? But in the Bible, Jesus tells you in 10 words, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Heaven, space, earth, a material matter. Each one of these flowers are connected to the ground, which gives them nutrients. So these beautiful flowers need a solid foundation. Your foundation has to be based in Jesus because Jesus forces you to live your best life. He forces you to become the best person that you can be, not only for yourself, but for others. Others. Look how many flowers are out here in this garden. Look how many other souls are out here in this world. You see the comparison? If we all flourish under the sun, the Father, the Holy Ghost, and work as one, and then we'll bloom. Amen.